Once upon a time, in the far reaches of our solar system, there was a small, icy world named Pluto, the ninth planet, beloved by generations. But in 2006, everything changed. Pluto vanished from textbooks, replaced by a new label, a dwarf planet. But what happened? And does Pluto still matter? In 1930, a young astronomer named Clyde Tombaugh spotted a faint dot of light. It was the Pluto, the new ninth planet. Named after the Roman god of the underworld, it captivated imaginations. But as telescopes grew stronger, astronomers realized something strange. Pluto wasn't alone. Beyond Neptune, thousands of icy worlds like Pluto lurked in the Kuiper Belt. Then, in 2005, scientists found Eris, a rival even larger than Pluto. The discovery sparked a cosmic identity crisis. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union made a historic vote. To be a planet, a world must one, orbit the sun, two, be round, and three, clear its neighborhood of debris. Pluto failed rule three, it was dethroned, reclassified as a dwarf planet. Overnight, solar system models changed. Pluto was relegated to the sidelines, a footnote in astronomy books. But the story was far from over. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons probe raced past Pluto after a nine-year journey. What it found stunned scientists. Pluto wasn't a dead rock, it was alive. Towering mountains of water ice, glaciers of nitrogen, and even a hazy blue atmosphere. Most shocking, signs of geological activity, cryovolcanoes possibly erupting icy slush. And let's not forget Pluto's five moons, especially Charon, so large, they orbit each other like a binary system. This was no ordinary dwarf planet. The New Horizons data reignited the debate. Should Pluto be a planet again? Lead scientist Alan Stern argued, if Earth were in Pluto's place, it wouldn't clear its orbit either. Others countered, the Kuiper Belt is packed. We can't have hundreds of planets. The people voted with their hearts. Pluto merch soared. Memes declared, Pluto will always be a planet in my heart. Even NASA's website sometimes calls it a planet. Yet officially, the IAU hasn't budged. Whether planet or dwarf, Pluto matters, because in the end, labels don't define majesty. And who knows? Maybe one day Pluto will reclaim its title.